Part of my role is to make sure that we continue to maintain access to capital, uh, keep our cost of capital as low as it can be, fortify the balance sheet so that we can go and, right. and, and seek out that new team in an existing league, or perhaps dive into a new venture and a, and a new type of sport. We are in growth mode. FSG has been in growth mode all along. It kicked up a notch in 2021 when Jerry Cardinale's Redbird Capital took an 11% equity stake. Months later, the group bought the NHL Pittsburgh Penguins. They're on the lookout to expand further. As long as the growth opportunities fit our overarching criteria, which are blue chip in nature, uh, great opportunities to either restore, rebuild, or enhance a venue uh, that might need some TLC. And we feel that the Fenway Sports Group can be additive and, and, and create more value given our expertise. It's something we'll look at. What we do at Fenway Sports Group when it comes to M&A in particular, we have a, call it a five person committee that takes ideas from our, that come from our chief strategy officer and his team. The five of us digest it, analyze it, uh, there's times where I'm playing devil's advocate to make mm -hmm. sure that we're not just getting too excited or too emotional about an idea. And then the group of five uh, right. vote. And then ultimately that information is provided to ownership. So John Henry, Tom Werner and Mike Gordon are the ultimate decision makers when it comes to new investments. Meanwhile, franchise prices keep setting records. There are no bargains to be found in the NFL or NBA but at least those leagues have salary caps. In European soccer, the price of entry is just as high. Financial controls are weak, petrodollars are pouring in. It's enough to give a CFO migraines. How do you at FSG compete with these huge blocks of money? It is, uh, it is something that's top of mind for us. It is becoming more competitive. I think we try to um, you know, do more with, with what's there. These clubs, these franchises, they need massive investment. Are we disciplined? Do we try to be disciplined? Uh, yes, of course, because we need uh, to spend at, at the player development area, uh, on free agents, on transfers when it comes to global football. Discipline is the watchword, also flexibility. I'll tell you a, a little story about Liverpool. We started uh, looking at the club in August of 2010. Um, an email was sent from a passionate LFC supporter who worked in our sponsorship department. Three months later, we own the club. Um, so you, in 90 days, <laughs> you turn that around in 90 days. True story. Wow. So uh, while there's nothing on paper, there's no strategic plan right now to go out uh, and acquire a new franchise or a new venue, mm -hmm. things can happen rapidly around here.